Alright. Good Tuesday morning to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? So you may ask uh, why I'm holding the phone. I was going to show y'all something. There's Teddy. Say hey, Teddy. Teddy and I haven't had a very good time this time. As Teddy grew up, he's an outside dog. He doesn't do well inside. He's basically destroyed my apartment. So today, Teddy's going home and uh, back to his yard, and then I'll just have to drive across town and check on him and feed him and give him water when I get off work in the afternoons or something like that. We're just going to have to make it work because he's not... I came home yesterday and he had destroyed not one, but two window blinds that I'm going to have to pay to replace. The place looks like a bomb went off in it, to be honest. And, uh, you know, no doesn't work with him. Whopping him with a shoe doesn't work with him. So, whatever. We tried. He's a beautiful dog, but he's an outside dog. Okay, so on to the day. So today I have my interview. And I mentioned last week that I was interviewing for what would be a step up. And uh, so that interview is today. And then after that, I have to go to work. I also went to work yesterday, which was supposed to be a day off. But that happens when you're running shorthanded. And, you know, what can you do? You go in and work. So anyway, we're going to shave. And then on the way to the interview, I'm going to grab a haircut. Because I was going to get a haircut yesterday. But I got a call 5 o'clock yesterday morning asking me to come to work. So uh, we're going to use our Jim Jr. bar here. About a 1910 model. It's got a handle that was made by J.R., one of my favorites. And we're going to put a new treat blade in it. No, we're not. No, nah, we're not. Look what I see right over here hiding out on top of my, over with my blades and stuff. I've got a uh, PAL Super that I think has got like two shades on it. Maybe three, I can't remember. But we're going to use the old PAL Super. I like a PAL Super. They're good blades. So everything's nice and tight. As always, we make sure that we got the blade up behind the... Uh, blade stops on the Jim Jr. here it's it's less likely that it's going to be off but it could always happen so we're going to use Williams today <laughs> hey it's an important day why wouldn't we use Williams you know what I'm saying this is actually some of the uh, the Williams that I had tried to scent a while back with uh, aqua velvet and it's still got I mean it's got an aqua velvet scent to it but the scenting didn't really work out that well but, uh, you know, that everything works. So, I got a, a package in yesterday, and I haven't been all the way through. Well, I've been all the way through it, but I haven't got it all unpacked. And um, it came from a, a good buddy of mine. He, he sends stuff, and he wants to remain anonymous, and I'm okay with it. So, we got a few items for some giveaways. He sent a, uh, a really nice-looking 1914 Ever Ready and a 1924 Ever Ready. He sent uh, some tobacco that's going to end up being in a uh, summertime it's hot PIF from uh, Toast. I'm actually still putting that together. I promise it's going to show up. It's going to be there. And uh, he sent some English leather aftershave, which I almost wore today, but I'd already made up my mind on the Aqua Bevel. So I haven't tried the Aqua Bevel Sensitive 5 in 1. I don't use bombs that much. I'm an aftershave splash guy. But, uh, you know, he sent it. He got some in it. I'm going to give it a whirl. We'll try that. Uh, the coffee today is brought to you by French Market. This is the New Orleans blend with the coffee and chicory out of a uh, the Keurig. And it's just not bad. It's just not bad at all. I think coffee's the only thing that kept Teddy alive, maybe. You know, good coffee. Anyway, and we're going to use our redotted Ever Ready 650 PB that's got the uh, Chinese badger knot in it. Still waiting on, uh, and I will be, it takes a little while to get here. I do have that flat top badger ordered that uh, is going to go in in the handle from uh from uh patrick 999 <laughs> from up in canada and uh quick as it comes in we'll get it set then we'll have a new toy to play with yeah i like having new toys to play with also i was uh, bored at work the other day and i made the mistake of clicking over on to ebay yes those are mistakes so anyway i found some vintage uh williams the, uh, in the dark blue box, or the mostly blue box, it's got the luxury on it. I don't know what makes it luxury. We'll see when it gets here. But anyway, I didn't have any of that. So uh, there were a couple of them on there, and I thought the price was okay, and I picked those up. So those are coming in also. And probably one of those will go to a giveaway. Someone to get a chance to get a hold of some vintage Williams. 
I give some away every once in a while. And then whoever spent 51 bucks on the uh, on the lather catcher and the auto strop, sorry you had to pay 51 bucks for it. It was worth 50 bucks to me, and that's what I bid on it. And uh, whoever got it, looks like they got a really nice looking Raider. Two really nice looking Raider. The auto strop looked good too, the valet. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that star. Really nice looking uh, ladder catcher. Whoever got it, congratulations. I didn't look at the bidding history. There was 23 bids. I don't know how many people were bidding, but that's what I do. I see something I want, I put in what I think I want to pay for it. If I get overbid, I get overbid. If it's something I really want, I put in more than I think I should usually. I've ended up with a few nice things that way. But, uh, you know, people always, uh, and, and I've been among them, that complain about sniping. But the truth of the matter is, you can't be sniped if you bid what you want to spend. You put in what you want to spend. If someone bids more than you, they get it. It doesn't matter if it's the last second of the auction or if it's the last two hours of the auction. You put in what you wanted. Well, if you'd have put his bid in earlier, I've had a chance to bid over him. No, 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 no. That's how I used to be. But then I figured out that's not true because if I wanted to bid higher, then I should put more in to start with. Put in what you're willing to bid. I think sniping is idiotic, personally. I don't do it it's myself. But anyway. Some people, it's the fun of the game, getting right in at the last minute and stealing it away. Might as well have a good time with it, huh? Part of the fun. It's the hunt, right? Yep, absolutely. So back to the job interview today. So what I'm interviewing for is what they call a branch manager. And the branch manager oversees all the accounts in his area. And, uh, so, I don't know. We'll see. I've, I ran a company in Mississippi for like three years, three and a half years I was at that company. Well, about six months after I joined, hired on, the owners, and this was in Greenville, Mississippi, the owners moved to Tennessee and left me running the show. I did everything but wrote the paychecks. And a lot of times I did the payroll so the paychecks could get written. Hey, get out of trash. Get out of trash, Teddy. See, he don't listen. Get out of the trash. Silly dog, don't eat the soap. I guess that's what he's crunching, soap chips in the, at least you have clean tea. But anyway, so I've done the work before and that was with 50 or 60 guard contract company, like I said, in Greenville. So there's more guards here. I don't know if that really matters or not. Anyway, the neat thing about it is I'm really happy where I am now. So if I get it, great. If I don't, I keep doing what I'm doing. That's always a plus when you're not really, really, really desperate or really, really, really need another job. I don't really need a different job. I'm... But uh, anyway, that's going to be today's adventure. I'm going to try to get by and get a haircut on the way. I'm going to try to drop. Hold that thought just one second. He was chewing on my Derby premium blades. These are single blades for uh, unmentionables that he got off the corner of the cabinet apparently when I wasn't looking. I've been leaving the door closed to the bathroom here where he hadn't been able to get in. So he hadn't been able to wreck my bathroom. And you're not going to either. No, you're not. But uh, anyway, so like I said, it's just nice interviewing for a job because it would be nice to have, not that you need a new job or want a new job or anything along those lines. Teddy, quit. It's just uh, 
you know, it'd be a step up and I like jobs like that. I don't mind the stress and the responsibility and the hours. I already work as many hours as I can. I mean, I really, there's not really not that many more hours I could work. So, anyway, and think about a job like that, if you do it right and you keep enough people hired and everybody's working, then, you know, I'd actually end up working less than I do now. For a little bit more money. Not a bad thing. We got our two lighter passes out of the way with the wheels, which did good today, if you noticed. That was modern Williams. So if you think modern Williams can't be lathered, you just need to keep practicing. Alright. Trim up around the old goatee there. Beautiful. Boy, that old pile super. I like the looks of them, for one thing. And they're getting harder to find. I don't know. I had to hunt for the last ones I found. And then I shared some of them. So I may have to go try one more time to hunt me up some to put away. As long as they stay dry, they seem to hold pretty good. Alrighty. Get face dried off here. Well, we'll see what this uh, Aquavella feels like here. I'm fixing to jump in the shower, so it's just gonna I'm gonna have to apply more after the shower or whatever, but I just want to see what it feels like a little bit. So we're gonna put a little dab in a hand here. Got a nice scent to it. I don't know if it's exactly Aquavella ice blue scent. Doesn't smell like the same to me, but it is pleasant. So if uh some of y'all that have used this, how how is the scent to you? Is it about the same or not close or it's not close. Still a pleasant scent though. Maybe put this on and then I'll take a shower and before I head out I'll splash on some of the Aqua Bubba Ice Blue. Maybe that's the answer. Well, whatever the answer is, we'll work on it. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to continue getting ready to go to my interview and getting ready to take Teddy home and getting ready to go to work after the interview. I'm going to take Teddy on, home on the way to the interview and try to get a haircut and still make the interview. Mm-hmm gonna be a busy time for the next couple hours and then I can get to work and get in uniform and then I can cruise because everything will be normal then I can handle that all right we all have a great day wherever you are we're gonna have a great day where I am and uh, I think there'll be some more thunderstorms today it's getting to be in that normal pattern so that's just how it is hope things are the way they are where you are you know things not going bad for you but anyway we'll talk to you later and remember happy shaves to you